That will be all for today. Class dismissed. Have a happy festival weekend. Hey, Audrey. Hmm? What you got there? Oh, uh, it's just... That's tonight? Oh, bummer. Oh, I got an idea. How about we do something fun? What do you have in mind? Let's go out tonight. Maybe we can catch a Midsummer's Eve show. I, I, I'd really love to, but I can't skip out this time. The seniors will be presenting us to the council tonight. Hey, it's all right. We got time. We've still got the afternoon, right? Hmm. I was thinking of catching up on some readings. Audrey, it's a Friday. Well... Come on! Do you really want to miss out on an adventure with the valiant trailblazer Marion LaRue? Hmm. All right. I suppose we can go out for a bit. Really? Yay! You're the best, Audrey! Worry not. With our combined skills, our journey will be legendary! You're adorable, Marion. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. All right. Shall we? Sure. Wow. Castle Coast sure looks a lot brighter today. It's something, isn't it? Too bad the market's closed, though. I could use a snack right now. Well, I just might have the perfect thing for the occasion. I, uh, brought some pastries. <laughs> Want some? Whoa! These are the cutest pastries I've ever seen! Glad you think so. Were you just carrying these in your bag all this time? Well, these were supposed to be for the ball. But I figured you'd like them more. Oh! Uh, are you sure it's okay? Positive. They'll be fine with their chocolate fountain than fondue. Besides, I'm more interested in what you think. Let me know which ones you like best. I'll make more for you. Th thanks, Audrey. Of course, it's my pleasure. <laughs> These are amazing! Thank you. Okay, love the cats. They're super cute. But I like the cinnamon rolls best. A cinnamon fan? You're practically a Castle Coast native now. <laughs> I wish. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes I feel like you know this city more than I do. Well... I've spent all my life wanting to move here, you know? Can't believe I've been here for almost a year. Everything still looks so fresh to me. I guess... I guess that's because the city's always changing, huh? Just a few months ago, the city was so pink. <laughs> Thanks to all those cherry plums. And now everything's golden. Just look at that. The way those banners light up the streets. The way these sunflowers make everything look... Rider. Doesn't Doveport change as well? 
Well, yeah, I guess, but... I don't know. Over there, the seasons change, but the people really don't. But here, it's like... It's like you can transform into anyone you want to be, and that's okay. I really like this about you, Mary. This city is so much more alive and refreshing when I'm with you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but I, I don't think that's because of me. And, uh, I'm really happy to hear that, Audrey. You... You make me feel at home here. I'm glad. By the way, I, I just wanted to ask. Hmm? Uh... Wh what's your favorite place here in Castle Coast? Hmm. I suppose I'd have to go with LeFay. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Yes, really. It's the one place in the city where I can get a bit of freedom. Oh. Right. How about you? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, I just remembered. Simone sent me this when she was still in LeFay. Oh. That's the Astaway Bridge. I've only been there a few times, but never during sunset. Maybe tomorrow. I'll get to watch it from there. Why wait until tomorrow? I'll take you there. You will? W wait, don't you need to get ready for the ball? Oh, come on, Mary. It's a Friday. <laughs> Touché. Besides, we're already here, so I figured it'd be the perfect opportunity. If it's really okay, then... Yeah. I'd really love that. So, what do you think? Audrey, this... This is perfect. Can I... Can I stay here forever? What's on your mind? Oh, um, nothing, really. <laughs> it's just, uh, well, it's really peaceful here. Is everything all right? Huh? Why wouldn't it be? Well, I, I just want to make sure the timing's perfect. <laughs> uh, that's all. The timing? For what? <sighs> hmm. Mary, would you like to go to the festival with me? Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, as my date? <laughs> I... I know it's Im important to you. Uh, you've been so excited about it, and I hope I'm not messing up with all this sudden... Um, romance. But... I really like you. And if... If you feel the same way, I'd love to give you the best day of your life tomorrow. <laughs> M Marion, what are you? This is for you. I think it's beautiful how this is your favorite flower. Cause just like sunflowers, you're... You're radiant. And yes, I'd love to be your date to the festival. I'm 
really happy. Me too. And thank you, Audrey. <laughs> that settles it then. Settles what? This bridge is officially my favorite place here in Castle Coast. Well, if that's the case, it's a pleasure to bring you here. This kind of behavior is completely unacceptable. I expected better from both of you. Especially from you, Miss Clary. What do you two have to say for yourselves? Perhaps we could start with a lesson on civility. Miss Clary, Miss LaRue, apologize to each other. <laughs> What was that, Miss LaRue? I didn't start it, Professor, so why should I say sorry? Miss LaRue, when there is conflict, it is necessary for both parties to acknowledge their mistakes. Ugh. The real mistake is letting Her Royal Highness over here run the place. Would you like to say that louder, Miss LaRue? No, Professor. Are you not going to apologize? Nope. Maybe Her Royal Highness should apologize. Miss Clary, would you like to say something? I stand by what I said earlier, Professor. Miss LaRue burned my book. She's the one who needs to apologize to me. Wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, you called my idea idiotic. I specifically said Thoughtless, not idiotic. And then you just grabbed the rod without warning me, so what was I supposed to do? Well, I wasn't wrong, was I? You acted without thinking. Ladies! All I asked was for both of you to apologize to each other. Would it be so difficult for even just one of you to take accountability for your mistakes? Miss LaRue, it does not matter if you did not start it. You must either apologize to her or at least offer to replace her book. You are not in your little countryside barn anymore, Miss LaRue. Do try to act the part. <clears throat> her family owns a laundromat, Professor. Like that makes a difference to you, Princess? As for you, Miss Clary. Y yes, Professor? Is this the example you wish to set as a class representative? Or perhaps as a Clary? I... You're right, Professor. Miss LaRue, I apologize. Huh? I should have just insisted on a different partner. If I hadn't partnered with you, Miss LaRue, then the accident wouldn't have happened. I should have foreseen it, considering our feelings about each other. But perhaps I was a bit too optimistic. So what? Exactly, are you trying to say? Oh, I'm not trying to say anything. I am simply apologizing for my lack of foresight. And how is that an apology? 
I don't know, princess. The way you phrased it kind of makes it seem like it's my fault. I mean, so much for your optimism, right? It was kind of like, it's too bad poor little Miss LaRue is so bad at working with people. If only I thought more about that. My lack of foresight is a genuine problem, Miss LaRue. I should have paid closer attention to the synergy, or lack thereof, between us. As your class representative, it is my responsibility to take into account all possible outcomes. I am deeply sorry to have failed both of you, Professor Buffour, Miss LaRue. Perhaps during Mars days and hours, I will be sure to be more proactive with my approach to schoolwork. If Marion and I were assigned to complete a task again, then I will simply avoid working with her. For our safety. I... <laughs> wow. You are so full of it, Miss Clary. Keep your apology. Sure, blame it on the Mars Hour or whatever. Blame it on everything and everyone but yourself, because you're so perfect. Isn't that right, Princess? Professor, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this. Professor? Yes, Miss Kang. Good morning, Professor. Hi, Miss Clary. Hi, Miss LaRue. <laughs> um, the night shift club kind of had an accident, and Lisa, uh, I mean, uh, Miss Peralta was sent to the infirmary, so Nurse Shell asked me to pass this report to you, Professor. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kang. Please wait for me outside. Okay, Professor. Bye, Miss Clary. Bye, Miss LaRue. Uh, see you later, Miss Clary? Uh, yes. See you later. Awesome! <laughs> oh, you're gonna love the sun cakes! Don't count on it, Miss Kang. Miss Clary and Miss LaRue will be spending the entire day in detention. What? Huh? Oh. But it's... Uh, that's... I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'll just get you one of those sun cakes later, Miss Clary. Miss Kang. Yes, leaving now, Professor. <laughs> Bye! But, Professor, you can't do that! Today's the Sunflower Festival! I already got plans! Yes, I am aware of that. Your plans will simply have to be cancelled. Today, both of you will write letters of apology to each other. But, Professor... Please do not test what I can and cannot do, Miss LaRue. Sorry, Professor. <clears throat> If I may, Professor? Yes, Miss Clary? I missed out on the festival last year due to unfavourable circumstances. Will it be possible for me to do detention next week instead? I could even go two Saturdays in a row just to make up for it, Professor. I'm afraid that's not possible, Miss Clary. Oh. I understand, Professor. Good. I want you two to reflect on how you could have reconciled your differences and what you aim to change about yourselves in order to work better with people. I will not accept half-hearted letters. I want genuine self-reflection. Is that clear? I yes, Professor. Unbelievable. I'm missing out on the festival for this crap again. Language, Miss LaRue. <clears throat> your sister was never this difficult. Please try not to be remembered as the less likable LaRue. I'm sorry, Professor. Very well. I hope this serves as a lesson to both of you. You two are allowed to talk to each other, provided that you do so civilly. Good day, Miss LaRue. Miss Clary. Good day, Professor. Marion. What? I... I'm sorry about what Professor Buffour said about you and Simone. I don't think they meant it, Marion. No, they're right. I'm the difficult one. That's just how it is. You're not. I don't think you're... Spare me your pity, Princess. You got your apology letter to write, and I got mine. So let's just get this over with, okay?
Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a stuck-up little... Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a selfish piece of... Why do you keep staring at me? Need inspiration for your writing, Princess? Professor Buffour said we should be civil. This isn't civil to you? Spiteful flirtation, or whatever you call what you are doing, is not exactly my definition of civility, LaRue. Well, Princess, maybe you and I just have very different definitions. Is that so? Then go ahead. What's your definition? Please enlighten me. I would. But I don't kiss and tell. I did not tell anyone about that day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you didn't. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the rumors were true, it'd be embarrassing for a Clary, right? What do you mean by embarrassing for a Clary? Oh, Princess. Do the arithmancy. I'm a LaRue. The only other respectable LaRue is Simone, and she's, you know, a self-made entrepreneur from humble beginnings. Still need me to spell it out for you? I think I can do the rest of the arithmancy myself, LaRue. Huh. Thought so. So anyway, I'm gonna level with you here. I don't want to write this crap. How surprising. Yeah, whatever. So what I'm telling you is that I don't want to write this, and I really don't want to spend the rest of the day cooped up in this classroom. Especially not when there's a festival waiting for me. How is this piece of information relevant to me? Well, you see, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Really now? Y yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting out of here. Wanna come with me? You're asking me to escape with you. Yep. And why would you invite me? Well, I'm not planning on spending the entire day with you. But if I leave you here, you'll probably get bitter about staying behind and doing the good girl thing. So I might as well ask you to come with me. That's not a very sound argument, I'm afraid. Not a very sound argument, my foot. I stated facts. So inviting me just because you're afraid I'll squeal is a sound argument? Think of it this way. You don't have to miss out on the festival this year. Besides, we don't have to stick together. You can go hang out with, I don't know, Irene or whoever. <sighs> Look, do you really want to spend the entire day here? I mean, you do you and all that, but if you come with me... You won't have to walk around the city with your bodyguards. I'll stick with you until you find your friends. And, of course, when we get in trouble again for this, you can talk us out of it, I suppose. Yep, that's right. Miss LaRue, you know the risks of escaping detention. They could expel you. Us. For this. Us? So you are coming with me. You don't have to play coy with me, princess. That was hypothetical, LaRue. I'm asking you seriously. Do you really want to risk expulsion for a day trip with someone you do not even like? Oh, please, princess. They're not gonna expel us. I'm the brightest elementalist they got here. And, well, you're kinda good at alchemy, too. Kinda good? Excuse me, I'm the top alchemist here. Yeah, cool, whatever. But you know they're not gonna expel us, right? Before, will probably just send us to detention again, and then we'll end up having to write an essay on why we thought truancy was a good idea. 
LaRue. And at least next week there's no festival to make us feel extra miserable. Well, okay, if you really don't want to. I don't need you to come with me anyway. You can blab to Professor before, I guess. Go! Make me look like the reckless rebel who made a dashing escape. While you, the lawful good damsel who will harm no one, struggled with your morality because stopping me would mean attacking me. It's the kind of narrative they like over here, so just roll with that. LaRue? I mean, sure, people will talk again, but that's all right because you get to- LaRue! I'm coming with you. Look, oh, you are? I mean, good. Awesome. Wise decision, your royal highness. Think of it as compensation for my book. Yeah, I guess. So I'm coming with you, but you will help me find Irene. Irene. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wait. What, chickening out already, princess? No, fill that bowl with water. Why should I? Please, just do it. All right. Let me just draw the sigil and... Hmm, yes, this one works. Here's your water, princess. This good enough? Perfect. Okay, after that, a sprinkle of this. An illusion spell? In case someone passes by, it'll buy us some time. And for when someone notices... <laughs> of course, you'd be the type to add an alarm. Very vigilant of you, dear lawful good damsel. Maybe you're not so lawful after all. Hey, I have my moments too. Oh, I know. I'm glad you still remember things about me. <laughs> <laughs> Who said anything about remembering? All right, LaRue, I'll just take your word for it. And done. What do you think? Ooh, what? I would never wear bright blue eyeshadow. That is so tacky. <laughs> Oh, so that's how we're doing this. Hey, don't do that. You know I would never wear a headband like that. But you look so cute with cat ears. No, thank you. There, I fixed it. Are you happy now? Hmm, yeah, I guess this is okay. Admit it, LaRue. These are the most perfect copies you've ever seen. Whatever you say, princess. Let's go. By all means, lead the way. All right, princess. Welcome to the Le Fay Academy of Magic. I am Margot Before, head of the Alchemy Department. You may call me Professor Before. For today's orientation, you will be acquainted with the traditions of the Academy. In fact, starting today, you will begin preparations for one of the most important days of your life as a mage, the Luminance. At the Luminance, you will demonstrate your magical abilities. You will be required to work on a collaborative exhibit with your classmates, but more importantly, you will also have an individual showcase. Be meticulous with your planning. Celebrated mages will be there, looking for new apprentices. To make sure the preparations go smoothly, we have assigned a class representative. She scored the highest in the entrance examinations with outstanding recommendations from some of the best alchemy tutors here in Castle Coast.
May I present to you your class representative, Miss Audrey Clary. Of course a Clary would get top marks. I'm surprised it wasn't Theo Wingrave. Please, Evelyn Clary was the only one who could keep up with Professor before at the summit. Uncle Harry said she was seething for weeks. You think she'd let her daughter get bested? <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I look forward to serving as your class representative this year. I've already discussed some of my plans with the faculty. We shall have the most memorable luminance yet. In order for the preparations to go along smoothly, I would like to ask for a volunteer assistant to help me with the logistics. Would anyone be interested in taking this job? I volunteer! Uh, I mean, hi, I'm Marion LaRue, and I would love to be your assistant. Thank you very much, Miss LaRue. No problem. I really want us to have the most memorable luminance ever. I'm glad to know we're on the same page, Miss LaRue. Very well. I shall leave the rest of the orientation to Professor Buffon. Professor? Thank you, Miss Clary. And so that concludes the introduction to Lefay's traditions. We shall now be taking a lunch break. Please be back here in an hour. Hey guys, what an orientation, huh? I'm starving. Wonder what good stuff they got cooking at the dining hall. I'm Marion LaRue, by the way. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, we're heading to Leone's, actually. Oh, okay. Have fun, then. Hey guys, I'm Marion LaRue. You heading to the dining hall? Hey, uh, no, sorry. Oh, you guys going to Leone's too? Yeah, maybe. Uh, gotta go. Enjoy lunch. See ya. Hey! Ah, uh, Southerners. A bit overenthusiastic, isn't she? She'd fit right in with the elemental mages. I'm not surprised. I was around when she moved in yesterday. Her entire family was there. They were all crying before they left. Can you believe that? And they were so loud. It was like one of those nasty circuses. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, though. Oh, please. It was super tacky. Poor Audrey. Bet you 20 gold she'll quit because of that one. <clears throat> I don't suppose you were informed that gambling is illegal here in Lafay. Miss Clary, uh, hi. <laughs> I, I was just joking. <laughs> I know, but I'd advise you to be more careful with the things you talk about. After all, you wouldn't want the wrong person to overhear these things. It could reflect badly on you, or worse. Y yes, Miss Clary. Good girl. See you, Miss Clary. Thanks.
<laughs> Don't worry about it. Would you like to have lunch together, by the way? You know, you don't have to do that. Sure. Lunch together sounds cool. But, uh... Hmm? What about your friends? My... friends? Um, well, how about this? Starting today, we are now friends. And besides, we'll be working together a lot. It'd be great for us to get to know each other. Do you want to go to Leonie's? Sorry, but I don't have the money for that. No, I'd rather have lunch at the dining hall. Oh. Well, then... Okay. Let's have lunch together. Thank you so much, Miss LaRue. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I'm the new girl, after all. So, what do you think they're serving for lunch? Oh, get ready for lots of pastries. Pastries, huh? <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Can't wait to get myself some sun cakes! Simone wouldn't shut up about them, so they better be good. Hmm. I should have checked for events at Asterway Bridge. Would you know if there are any, Princess? Well, this is awkward. Princess? No, they can't be right. They should be in Le Fay. Why aren't they in Le Fay? Hey, Princess! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! LaRue! Why so serious, Princess? What you doing anyway? You look fine. I, I'm not. Wait a minute. Are you... scrying? Uh, and what if I am? <laughs> Relax. Before it doesn't strike me as the type to attend festivals. They're not in the Fay. I just want to be sure we won't run into them. That's all right. We got time. <sighs> Ah, they're at Flamel Guildhall. You've got nothing to worry about then. They're probably in a meeting or something. Well, they can probably check on you too. But would they? I don't think so. Uh, Professor Buffour may be a disciplinarian, but they would never take a student's hair strand to spy on them. It doesn't hurt to be cautious, though. You... you... <laughs> You got before his hair? I wouldn't say I took it exactly. I just came across it while I was on cleaning duty. Th 
That is wicked. Wicked cool! I gotta give you alchemists some credit. If I wanted to spy on someone, I'd have to talk to plants, and that doesn't always work out. Sometimes they just end up hitting on you. There are plants that do that? Oh, princess, you have no idea. But, uh, um, got any backup plans in case they check on you? Concerned, LaRue? How touching. Uh, Thought you would have learned this from me before, princess. If you're going to be a rebel girl, always have a backup plan. Oh, well, you seem to have this truancy thing figured out. So, uh, where are you supposed to meet Irene? We were supposed to go to the festival together, but that's not until later this afternoon. Oh, so what are you going to do until then? May I come to the festival with you? You won't have to worry about me as soon as we find Irene. <sighs> this is kind of ironic, isn't it? We were supposed to go together last year. And now I'm just keeping you company until you meet up with Irene. I... Uh, we don't have to stick together. You can just leave me at the festival when we get there. No way. I'm going to feel guilty if I leave you alone. And I want to make sure you won't run off to before just because you suddenly feel bad or whatever. I see. Will I be getting in the way of your plans? My plans? Oh, nah. I was only going to go shopping anyway. <laughs> what else would I be doing on such a nice sunny day? Will you be meeting up with anyone? Uh, maybe? <laughs> what about? I don't know. Prescott? You seem close with her. Why do you ask? You jealous, princess? No, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. I just want to make sure I'm not ruining the Sunflower Festival for you. Uh, oh, don't worry. You're all right. Okay, let's hurry before they run out of suncakes. Okay, I'm done. Be warned, Miss Clary. There's a lot on this list. All right, give me a second. Actually, do you mind reading some of them out loud? Not at all. Okay, let's see. Ugh, can't believe that Marquez boy said I'm too enthusiastic. I mean... Look at this! A room full of golden mirrors where the alchemy and divination students work together to show glimpses of Castle Coast's future.
That's ridiculous. None of us are advanced enough to do that. I gotta admit, it's a cool idea, though. Yeah, but we don't learn about illusion magic until next year. Right? Oh, here's one from Miss Miyazaki. A collaboration between archaeomancers and elemental mages showcasing the architecture of various cultures through miniatures. The aim of this collaboration is to celebrate diversity in Castle Coast. Oh, I think I like this one. Yes, so do I. I suppose miniatures would be feasible. Oh, just imagine! Earth mages molding them from the soil! Fire mages could even light them up from the inside. They'd look really pretty at night. Yes, they would. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces. We'll show them what we can do. Okay, let me just... Miss Clary? Is everything all right? I yes, I'm fine. But your hands are shaking. Miss Clary? <sighs> Actually, Miss LaRue, do you mind if we take a break? Oh, no, not at all. Do you... want to talk about it? Talk? Uh, about what? Well, you keep tugging at your bracelet, so you're clearly upset or worried about something. Am I? Uh, that obvious? Around everyone else? Nah. But we've been working together a lot. So come on. Let's talk. I... I'm sorry, Miss LaRue, but I'm not sure how to talk about it. I'm not shutting you down. It, it's just that I've never been encouraged to talk about how I feel. So I, I don't know where to begin. I see. Okay, take this. What am I supposed to do with this? I want you to write down what you're afraid of. Huh? I don't know, Miss LaRue. The that's... That's a lot to think about, isn't it? Fine. How about we focus on something more specific? Like... Hmm. How about now? What are you worried about right now? Well... Is it... is it the festival? Yeah. Wait, what are you planning on doing with this anyway? Oh, trust me, I'm not gonna keep it. Not gonna read it either. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. All right. Are you ready? For what exactly? Total annihilation. But what are you? These are your fears, right? Well, now we're letting them burn. Focus on that piece of paper, Miss Clary. Smell that smoke? I yes. This might seem a bit provincial, but in Doveport, this is how we handle emotions that are too big, too heavy for us. We write it so that it's tangible, and then we burn it, offering it to the wind, to the skies.
Did it... Did it work for you? Yes. <laughs> I do feel a bit better. Uh, the, the fears are still there, but... There's lightness. And the fire. It reminds me that I'm here. Awesome. Woo! Glad it worked. Didn't want you to think I was, I don't know, loony or something. On the contrary. I'm impressed, Marion. Uh, may I call you that? Y yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm glad. You can call me Audrey. All right, Audrey. Here we are! Wow! Where do we even begin? We take it one stall at a time, Princess. Don't worry. I know this place like the back of my hand. I should hope so. It's really warm here, too. You should probably get something cool to drink. How about that stall over there? What are you doing on the roof? Relax. That better, princess? <sighs> Th thanks. No big deal. Now, where are those sun cakes? Oh, there they are! Audrey, look! Sun cakes! See how they glisten in the sun? I must admit, they do look good. Of course they do! Castle Coast's finest! No other pastry can compare! <laughs> You're such a dork. Take that back. I'm not a dork. <laughs> <laughs> right. Suncake? Yes, please. Okay. Hello there. I'd like two suncakes, please. That'll be two gold each, miss. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Here's your order. Happy Sunflower Festival. Thank you so much. Happy Sunflower Festival to you two! Here, try these. Thank you. Mm. Wow, mm. these are mm. Mm. delicious. <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? Mmm, this would go so well with... Hmm? Is there something wrong? Huh? What? Wh what's up? You keep looking around. See someone you know? Oh, <laughs> nope. I'm I'm just uh mapping out the perfect shopping route. Do you uh think we'll have special guests today? I'm not sure. What kind of special guests are we talking about? I heard there's going to be a concert, but... Oh, nah, not that kind. I'm talking about seminars, talks, that sort of stuff. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just... 
surprised, that's all. A year ago, you would have preferred to go to a concert. Yeah, well, times change. Yes, I suppose so. Right. Uh, l let's move on. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Would you mind if we check out the bookstore? No problem. All right. What do we have here? Conservationism and elemental magic. The Lost History of Alchemy? Ugh, no thanks. Excuse me, are you buying that? This one? Nah, you can have it. Thank you. Hey Avery, check this out. Weren't we just talking about this the other day? Ugh, that Arthur's full of crap. Healers did not create the alchemical arts. Healers. <laughs> Wanna be alchemists who lack the intelligence and nobility for the finer arts. Huh. Did you hear about the funding talks? They're claiming that the Alchemist Guild has too much power. Can you imagine? How utterly short-sighted. Castle Coast is at its most glorious right now. Without alchemy, we'd be no different from those decrepit towns to the south. Hey, wanna take that back? Oh, look, baby mages, how adorable. Take it back? Why? You guys aren't healers. Healers are just as intelligent as alchemists. You got a lot of nerve talking about healers like that. What are you gonna do when you get sick, huh? Eat gold? And how dare you? Southern towns are just as beautiful as Castle Coast. LaRue. Let it go. Take. It. Back. Ugh, how boring. Let's go, Quincy. Hmm. Young mages these days really have lost their minds, haven't they? <sighs> Do you have to pick a fight with every single person you meet? She was insulting you! I'm an alchemist student, not a healing magic student. She wasn't insulting me. Audrey. Please, let it go. It doesn't bother me, and it shouldn't bother you either. Okay, so maybe it doesn't bother you. Whatever. But they were still ignorant. I think... I think healers are amazing, for what it's worth. Thank you. That means a lot to me. They... They really were wrong, weren't they? Yes, they were. It's been... Really bad for healers recently. Chrysopia used to take ages, but recent studies show that we can transmute base metals into gold at a much faster rate. Castle Coast could be even grander than what it is now. So much progress with how we handle gold, and yet there are still so many illnesses we don't understand. So many processes in bodies of living beings that we're not even aware of. Is it so bad to care about the living? No. No, it's not. You really are a good person, LaRue. So are you, princess. Hey, look! They're lighting up the sunflowers! They're beautiful. Yeah, 
they are. Wait. S Simone? S Simone, wait! Check these out, Audrey. These would be perfect for the miniatures. Oh, yes, these are nice. We should get the healer some. They might want it for their individual showcase. Huh? They're gonna burn people and then heal them? <laughs> Fun idea, but no. Oh, no. You've been spending way too much time with me. But that's all right. It's never too late to work on those arsonist tendencies. And it is for you? <laughs> yep. That's my girl, burning all the papers in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get 20 more of these candles, 15 more pots. And black powder? Listen, I know you enjoyed burning paper, but that's a bit much. Silly Marion. They're not for me. They're for your fireworks. For the luminance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about fireworks? I just think you'd be good at them. Nah, it's just not appropriate for the occasion. Besides, I'm sure the attendees would rather see plants. They're nice to look at, not loud and annoying. If you're sure. I just don't want you to limit yourself. Especially when you've got so much potential. Anyway, if you don't want to do it for the luminance, there's always the fireworks festival. Yeah. There's always that. Marion? Yeah? That lady, isn't she your sister? Huh? Oh, Sim! Hey, Audrey, I'll just talk to her for a bit, is that okay? Sure. Hey, Sim! Oh, hello, Mary darling. What you doing out here? Just doing some shopping. I have a photo shoot later tonight, so I figured I'd save my stylist the trouble. How about you? Oh, well... Just doing some shopping for the luminance. How lovely! Oh, I will never forget that day. So, how are the preparations going for you, Mary? It's going great, actually. You better watch out, Sim. I think we might just outdo yours. Don't worry. I'm already bracing myself.
What will you be doing, by the way? Well... I can't tell you everything, but it involves cacti and succulents. Oh. That's interesting. What's wrong, Sim? Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just a bit tired from the interview I had earlier. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, Mary Darling. I should probably head back. Get a bit of rest before the shoot. Oh. Will you be okay? Of course. Don't worry about me, Mary. Just do your best at the luminance, all right? That's the only thing you should be worrying about. Okay, Sim. See you later, Mary. See ya. Hey, Audrey. Oh, hey, how'd it go? It was okay. By the way, what do you think of cacti and succulents? Hmm, we don't see that many of them here, though I suppose that makes them unique. Oh, guess they're not popular here, huh? No, but I'd still love to see you showcase them. Nah, now that I think about it, they won't do well with the climate here. Besides, the plants here are prettier anyway. I think I'll do something with moonflowers. It'll also match the theme of the festival. Are you really sure about this, Marion? Positive. Come on, let's get some moonflower seeds. Just a few more things, then we're done shopping for the day. Oh, okay. LaRue! Wait! LaRue! LaRue! Please! Are, are you okay? Ow, 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 ow! I think... Uh, I sprained my ankle. Ow, oh, it hurts. So much. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of it. Relax, okay? Mm. Ow, ow. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, I, I just need to... Uh. You, you're shaking! Uh. Are, are you sure you know how to do this? Of course I do, Marion. I told you, I healed a fractured bone before. Uh, uh, who's M my cats are you for real P please marion just trust me i can handle this okay okay i'm i'm just gonna look away okay yeah larue if you can manage it could you please conjure some ice on this? But... This looks expensive. Do you think that matters to me more than your ankle right now? Never mind. Don't answer that. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's really cold! I know. It's supposed to be. I've got to keep this on you for a few minutes. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. You shouldn't have to do this. I... 
I don't mind healing you. Thank you. Done with the ice? Yes. Could you please do something about it? Uh, sure. Thank you. I need to make sure there won't be any tissue damage. Uh, may I? Uh, oh, okay. You haven't given up on healing magic yet, have you? I... I don't know how to. It's pointless, I know. I, I just can't go against what my family wants. It's selfish. You're not selfish, princess. So what if you won't be out there doing glorious Clary things? You're... You're worth more than your family name, Princess. You want to heal people. And you know what? I still think you'd be great at that. It's just a sprained ankle. Compared to what actual healers do, this is nothing. You kidding? I'd be limping back to Lafay if it weren't for you. Cursing sunflower festivals and Castle Coast roads for the rest of my life. Well, I'm glad it doesn't have to come to that. How do you feel right now? Better. Much better. Uh, are you sure? Yep. I'm ready to get up and go running around again. <laughs> As your healer, I would advise against doing that right now. Don't worry. I wouldn't want to mess up all your hard work, would I? Hey, princess. Thank you. You saved my day. No, Marion. You've got it all wrong. I... I'm really grateful for you. I'm glad to know that I can still somehow save the day... for you. Marion? You weren't really planning on just going shopping, were you? Yeah. I'm looking for Simone. I figured as much, uh, but why? Are you two no longer keeping in touch? S something like that. I see. I'll help you look for her. You don't need to do that. This is my problem. Why would you want to help me anyway? I've got some time until Irene shows up. So, I might as well help you. I'm worried about you. A and I also just want to make sure you'll be alright. You still need to take care of that ankle of yours. If you're sure, I'd really appreciate it. Yes, I'm sure. And done. All right. We should rest here for now. No, if it's okay, can we go back to the market? Simone's got to be there. All right. Just take it easy, okay? <sighs> okay. Here, you can hold on to me. What for? You can... Lean against me, if it feels too painful to walk, or if you feel like you're about to lose balance. Uh, okay. <sighs> Thanks, princess. Nervous? No, not even a little bit.
Sure you don't need me to conjure fire for you? No, it's it's okay. I think I just need to take a walk. I'll come with you. Thank you. I... I could really use the company. Oh no! Poor kitty. Oh, I... Uh... Hey kitty, come here. Aw, what a cutie. Sorry, little kitty, but we gotta go. Bye, kitty. I hope you feel better soon. Poor thing. I wish I had some food for her, but that's all I can do for now. Did you just... heal a cat? Well, not completely. Her cold's still there. I only gave her temporary relief, but I hope it helps her find shelter tonight. M marion why are you looking at me like that? I didn't know you studied healing magic. I is is that an alchemy prerequisite or something? No, it's not. I I've done this before. I was still a little girl back then. I just borrowed this book on healing magic. Then I saw a cat shivering in the garden. Out in the cold. I could barely read the book. I was... I was trying so hard not to cry. I wanted... No, I needed him to survive. His pain was mine. Audrey... I searched a book for something, and it taught me how to give away some of my warmth. He stopped shivering, and eventually I did too. By sharing his pain, and sharing my warmth, his cold eased up. No alchemy theory has ever topped that feeling. The sense of relief and happiness I had, helping him feel better, warmer. Please don't tell anyone, okay? Audrey, you did something really kind, really beautiful. I don't understand. Why are you ashamed of it? I, I'm not ashamed. It's just that I... It's not in the formula. It's not what my family wants. You're shaking! Here, hold my hand. I don't do healing magic, but I can still share my warmth. And maybe... Maybe I can also share your pain. How does that sound? I... Thank you, Mary. Anytime. You know you can always count on me, right? Yes, I do. Hey, Audrey? Hmm? I'm... I'm really glad we're doing this together. I've never really been the type to get scared of anything, but this is different. There's so much at stake, especially for someone like me. I mean, I'm not from here, and I'm not a part of that elite mage circle or whatever. No, I'm the lucky one, Marion. I couldn't have asked for a better person to do this with.
Thank you, Mary. Anytime. You know you can always count on me, right? Yes, I do. Hey, Audrey? Hmm? I'm... I'm really glad we're doing this together. I've never really been the type to get scared of anything, but this is different. There's so much at stake, especially for someone like me. I mean, I'm not from here, and I'm not a part of that elite mage circle or whatever. No. I'm the lucky one, Marion. I couldn't have asked for a better person to do this with. All right, let's do this! Get ready to be blown away, Castle Coast! Okay, one last... Oh, there you are! Where have you been, Miss Clary? Professor Before has been looking for you. Your solo showcase is starting soon. I'm sorry, I was just... No time for that now. Let's go. Good luck. You too. Meet you here later? Yep. Okay. The LaFay Alumni Association would like to congratulate the initiates on their successful luminance. We are proud to say that the future looks even brighter for Castle Coast this year. Good luck, initiates, and may your journey as LaFay students be fruitful and full of exciting adventures. Not too many adventures, I hope. <laughs> and that concludes this year's luminance. Esteemed guests, thank you again for coming today. Refreshments are now available, courtesy of Castle Coast's beloved Chef Hugh. If you are interested in purchasing any of the collaborations, please feel free to approach an initiate. Thank you and good evening, everyone. Is there a problem, Miss Clary? You don't look so happy. Oh, n none at all, Professor. I'm glad to hear that. You did a tremendous job, Miss Clary. I'm impressed. Your theory about sustainability needs improving, but I can definitely see what it could do for ethical gold transmutation. I look forward to mentoring you. You will do great things someday. I'm sure of it. Th thank you, uh, Professor. You're welcome, Miss Clary. Now. Do try and enjoy the rest of the evening, will you? Y yes Professor. Whew, finally. Mary! Where's Simone? I thought she'd be with her. Oh, well... She just left. Said something came up at the bar. She didn't even say anything about the moonflowers. I worked so hard on them and she didn't say anything. Sorry, Marion. For what it's worth, your flowers are beautiful. Uh, thanks. How did it go with Professor before? What did they tell you? Well, they said I did a great job. See? You had absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, but... Mary? Can I hold your hand? Even for just a second? You can hold on to me as long as you want, Audrey.
<sighs> Thank you, Mary. Hey, Princess? Hmm? You sure this is okay? Do you want to buy a disguise or something? <laughs> no, it's all right. I can just check my compact. So, where's before now? It seems like they're still at the Guild Hall. Oh, great! Hmm. Do you have anything of Simone's on you? A hair tie would do. No. I only have letters and they're all at Le Fay. <sighs> That's a shame. Are you sure she'll be here today? She wouldn't miss her favorite festival for anything in the world. You know, back when she was in La Fay, she had a boyfriend she'd attend the festival with. Simone had a boyfriend? No need to make that face. Boys aren't all bad, you know. On that, we can disagree. Boys just do not have the charm of certain ladies. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks. Anyway, she's reportedly back from her soul-searching, or whatever it was she talked about in the magazine, so I'm sure she'll be here. What? Oh, don't you dare pity me. Oh, it's not pity. I just... Feel bad for me? That's the same thing. Marion, I... Please don't feel bad for me, okay? Just help me find her. Okay. Shall we check the art stalls? You both love art. Didn't think you'd remember that about me. LaRue, if you see yourself as a forgettable person, then you have been completely and utterly misguided. Marion, check that stool out. Wow, look at all those paintings. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. I wonder if Simone still paints. I know you're in a hurry to find Simone, but would you like to be sketched together? What? What for? It's not every day that I get to, you know, go out and celebrate a festival. And, well, I, ju I just love to have a portrait with someone who believes in me. You know what? That does sound like a good idea. Really? I, I mean, uh, of course. I, I knew you'd think it's a good idea. Good afternoon, ladies. Would you like to be sketched together? Yes, please. Great. Please have a seat and choose a pose that's comfortable for you.
Why are you blushing, LaRue? I thought you'd enjoy this sort of attention. I, I, I do. I, I'm an expert at this, you know? Are you? You're supposed to face that way, LaRue. You shouldn't let me distract you, darling. I'm not! Ah, young love. You two make such a beautiful couple. Sorry, but we're not a couple. Is that so? Sorry, you two just looked so cute together, that's all. I don't know if you remember, but you told me before that you believe art is a form of magic. I haven't been able to see it any other way since then. It really is magic, isn't it? Way before I started studying elemental magic, I took up painting. What did you like to paint? <laughs> You're assuming I was able to paint anything at all. I wasn't very good at it. Simone, though? She's good at everything she does. She paints. She writes poetry. My parents called her their little magician even before she moved to La Fay. <laughs> She always amazed us with everything she created. You take after her. Oh, no, I, I really don't. I could never write poems or paint people the way she did. She's... she's good at dealing with people, so she's good at creating stuff about them, too. I... Uh, you know I'm not so good at that. But Simone, she, she gave me this plant. It was a little cactus. She taught me the basics of elemental magic by helping me take care of it. That's adorable. Did you name it? Of course I did. I called him Caden. Caden eventually had a flower, and Simone said I helped him bloom. I kept him from dying of cold during the winter. She said that flower was my little work of art. That magic is found in the love and respect we have for all beings. And art is the result of that magic. I... I wish alchemists thought of our profession that way. Yeah. We're surrounded by so much gold in this city, thanks to the alchemists. But it's the artists who turn it into perfect gold. Without all the art here, what would we look forward to at the end of a long, exhausting day? Why are you giving me that look? I'm just glad to know that despite everything, you are still the Marion LaRue I know. It's been a while, I suppose. Here's the painting. What do you two think? Oh, this is gorgeous! Thank you so much! Wow, this is amazing! This is for the painting, madame. Thank you very much. I hope to see you two again soon. Happy Sunflower Festival. Happy Sunflower Festival, madame. Yeah. Happy Sunflower Festival. So, do you want to keep this? B but you paid for this. And you were the one who wanted this to begin with. That's all right. <laughs> what you said about art. I thought that was beautiful. So, I think you deserve this more. I... I... I guess so. Look, Mary, the dance is starting. Hey, Mary. Do you think we could... Audrey? Miss LaRue?
Knock, knock. Huh? Oh, uh, hello, Mary. Sup? Mind if I stay here with you? No, I don't mind at all. Awesome. What you doing anyway? Just making copies of these. On your own? No way. Why didn't you tell me? Here, let me help you with that. Ah, oh, thanks, Mary. Don't worry about it. Can't wait for us to get this over with, honestly. Professor before wasn't joking. You Castle Coast people sure take your holidays seriously. Yes, that's Castle Coast for you. Also, Chandler won't shut up about getting that spoken word banned. Does she seriously think it's that easy? They're Simone's friends, not mine. I mean, I guess alchemist circles run differently. If you know someone, you know the rest of their family, huh? Hey, is everything okay? Of course, everything's all right. Okay, do you want some alone time? No, no, I mean... I'm sorry, there's just a, a lot on my mind, but... Could you please... Could you please stay with me? Oh, okay, sure. Mary... Do you think I'm a shallow, silly person? Of course not. Why would I think that? Well, you see... I... I've got to attend this alchemist conference, but I... I really don't want to go. How come? What's up with this one? I'll be... missing out on the Winterfest. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just surprised. You hate balls. Well, well, no, not really. It's just uh, the alchemist balls I usually go to tend to be very exclusive. You're not supposed to have fun at those balls. It's all just fake smiles and small talk. Uh, this time, I, I just... It, it would have been nice to finally go to a... Proper ball with, with you. I just, I've never been to a ball with a real friend before. That, that's all. Oh. Yeah, bummer. I wish you could go with me too. Audrey, it's not silly and superficial to want to attend a ball, okay? You deserve to have fun, too. Life can't be all about studying, you know? Tell you what. Starting today, we'll do our own version of Winterfest. M mary <laughs> what are you? All right, so according to the schedule, it starts with a... Oh! <clears throat> Could I have this dance, my lady? <sighs> Mary! I'm sorry, but uh, I'm an awful dancer. Don't worry, my lady. Just follow my lead and you'll have nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> You're laughing at me? <laughs> Sorry, can't help it. Just relax, okay? Don't look at your feet. Keep your eyes on me.
Oh, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. See? It's easier if you relax. I guess. You're doing great. Let's keep going. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> How did you get so good at this anyway? Well, my dads have this huge vinyl collection, and sometimes when it's someone's birthday or something, they get in the mood for dancing. You want to know why I have such good balance? Sure. It's because my siblings and I learn to dance on uneven ground. Our house isn't big, but the backyard, uneven ground and all, is good enough for dancing. So you see, if I can get good at this, you can too. <laughs> yes, I, I suppose I can. If you're willing to teach me more, I'll be a good student. Y yeah, uh, of course. It's nice, isn't it? Just losing yourself in the rhythm and the music. Hey, Mary? Hmm? I, I, I've got something to... to interrupt you two. I just, uh, needed to deliver a message for you, Miss Clary. What's it about? Professor Before wants to see us. It's for the conference. Right now? Yep. All right. Please let them know I'll be there in a bit. I just need to pack up here. <sighs> okay. See ya. Audrey? You okay? Yes. I... I'm all right. Okay. What were you gonna tell me? Oh, nothing. Oh, come on, really? You're a great dancer, that's all. Oh. Thanks. Anyway, I... I've got to go. <laughs> I should go... Go meet up with Miss Kang and Professor Bouffour. Oh, okay. Oh, and don't worry. I'll pack up for you. Thanks, Mary. And just let me know if... Uh... Just let me know if you need help with anything, all right? Okay. <laughs> well, I'll see you then. Yeah. See ya. What are you guys doing here? Is, uh, is everything all right? Yeah, we're fine. Aren't you guys supposed to be in detention? Well, uh, yes, but uh, I didn't want to miss out on my plans with you. <laughs> Aw, that is so sweet of you, Audrey. So, what are you both up to? Are you, uh, hanging out? Well... We're not really, uh, hanging out, but...
LaRue is. Uh, yes, uh, I suppose you could call it hanging out. In that case, Irene, would you mind if she joins us? Well, that's uh, a little surprising. Do you do you want to have coffee with us, Miss LaRue? Uh, it's okay, really. You don't have to. Don't worry, the coffee's on me. Besides, I hear there's going to be a poetry reading at the Black Cat. A what? Oh, you've never been to one before? Aw, looks like you've been missing out on the cafe culture here, Miss LaRue. It might be fun, LaRue. Besides, you might just meet new people. <laughs> yeah, I guess that sounds fun. Shall we get going? Yeah, let's go! Welcome to your first poetry reading, Miss LaRue! Uh, thanks. I love these things! To be honest, I don't usually understand what they're talking about, but they sound cool. Do you like poetry, Miss LaRue? Audrey usually helps me figure out the metaphors, but, hmm, I don't think small towns like yours have events like this, do they? Wow, that's, uh, a little surprising. I assumed you'd be a bit more well-traveled. You're from Doveport, right? I read a bit about it from Simone's interview. Oh, that reminds me! Will Simone be here? I love her style! This is usually her crowd, right? Well, you see, she's a busy career woman. She travels around a lot and all that, so... Oh, yes! I read about her travels in Alcos. The photographs she takes are so breathtaking! It's a shame about her engagement, though. What do you mean by that? Oh, you didn't know? Aren't you too close? Simone's ex fiance is my cousin. My aunt disapproved of the engagement and was super close to disowning her. But I totally get it, you know? What would an elemental mage know about alchemist business anyway? It sucks, but us alchemists have to put our career first. We have the honor of having the most noble profession in Castle Coast. Right, Audrey? Audrey? I... yes. Yes, we do. Oh, come on! You're just gonna disregard the work all the other mages do for Castle Coast? Really? I, I'm not disregarding them. It's just that the alchemists built Castle Coast. That's right! We're responsible for this city! We can't afford to let it go to ruin again. That's not the point. It's not just you people who brought this city back to life. It's every single person. Whether they were alchemists, healers, street cleaners, they all worked together. Yes, but... We take care of the city's resources. Do you think that's something you can do without everyone's help? Audrey? I... LaRue, we are the leaders of this city. Wow. Good job, princess. Of course you'd say that. 
<laughs> why am I even surprised? Miss LaRue, why are you so upset? That's just the way things are. Oh, is it? You know what? This might actually be a good learning experience for you. Duel me, Kang! <laughs> LaRue, you cannot! Oh, you do not get to tell me what I can and cannot do, Princess. Save the Gilded Cage for yourself. I am not in a gilded cage. Don't like that metaphor? Or is it too difficult to explain to Kang? She wouldn't understand, would she? No one from your life would. Miss LaRue! But that's all right. At least it's a noble gilded cage. Enough! Fine! I'll duel with you, LaRue. Audrey, please! You don't have to do this! It's all right, Irene. Do you think you know any better about my life, LaRue? Do you think you, of all people, would understand how it's like for me? Wow. So this is the hill you choose to die on, Princess. Fine by me. Let's just get this over with. I can't believe I've been here for almost a year. Everything still looks so fresh to me. I guess... I guess that's because the city's always changing, huh? Just a few months ago, the city was so pink. <laughs> Thanks to all those cherry plums. And now everything's golden. Just look at that. The way those banners light up the streets. The way these sunflowers make everything look... brighter. This bridge is officially my favorite place here in Castle Coast. Well, if that's the case, it's a pleasure to bring you here. Audrey, you look lovely tonight. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Wingrave. Theodore and Sophie can't stop talking about you. You worked so hard on the luminance, didn't you? Y yes but I had help. My children loved working with you. I can see it now. Our family shall have the most brilliant collaborations in the future. Well, Theodore, don't just stand around there. Go ask her to dance with you. Oh, no, it's okay. Care to dance, Miss Clary? Oh, Mother, don't embarrass her. She's got a girlfriend. It's that LaRue girl. Oh, dear. Is that true, Audrey? Couldn't you have picked someone more... Uh, sophisticated? I really must have a talk with Margot one of these days. The riffraff they let in.
As a member of the council, I feel we've been too lenient with these new students we accept. It's about time I call for a meeting. Le Fay needs some serious pruning. You must really rethink your choice of company, my dear. With all due respect, Mrs. Wingrave. Yes? Is that Audrey Clary talking to Belladonna Wingrave? Yes, that's her. I'm surprised she didn't bring the La Rue girl as her date. Are they really together? My son says they're inseparable. Oh, probably. What a scandal. Oh dear. Does Evelyn Clary know about this? Mrs. Wingrave, y you can't possibly believe that. I'd be a fool not to find a fellow brilliant alchemist charming. I'm very glad to hear that. I knew you would have impeccable taste in people. Thank you, Mrs. Wingrave. And Mr. Wingrave, I... I would love to dance with you. Please, call me Theodore. Mr. Wingrave is my father. We'll be working together in the future, after all. Of course, Theodore. Knock, knock. Audrey, is everything all right? Audrey, please tell me what's going on. I... I waited for you. At the garden, did, uh... Did something happen? Sorry, can we talk some other time? I... I've got a bit of a headache. Oh. Okay. Feel better soon, then. Audrey? I'm going back to Doveport for the summer, so, uh, just write to me. Okay? Okay. Awesome. I'll send you photos.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope your summer vacation went well. You've got a new, exciting year ahead of you. The new students will have their luminance in a month. Those who'd like to help them out can sign the volunteer sheets outside the Student Affairs Department. As for your class representative this year, according to your feedback, Miss Audrey Clary and Miss Marion LaRue have been inspiring, responsible leaders. The general consensus is that Miss Clary and Miss LaRue may continue to serve as the class representative and assistant representative, respectively. That said, the floor is now open for Miss Clary and Miss LaRue to accept or resign. Miss Clary? I would like to continue my duties as the class representative this year, Professor Buffon. I'm pleased to hear that. Miss LaRue? Sorry, Professor, but I'm... I'm resigning this year. I'm sorry to hear that, Miss LaRue. Thank you very much for your hard work. Miss Audrey Clary, would you still like to ask for a volunteer to assist you? No, Professor. Very well. As for some announcements. Yes? Hi, Miss Clary! I saw your name on the volunteer sheet, so I thought I'd look for you. Oh, is there a meeting? <laughs> nope, I'm just super excited to work with you. But, uh, to be honest, I didn't really come here about that. You know, I really liked your showcase from last year's Luminance. This is really embarrassing, but, uh, my parents are always telling me to be more like you. It used to annoy me, honestly. But now I think of it this way. I just have a lot to learn from you. So, please, will you help me out with alchemy? Sh sure Really? Yay! Thank you so much, Miss Clary! I really... Oh. Sorry for disturbing you. Wasn't that... Aren't you... Miss LaRue? Oh, yes, we worked together as class rep and assistant last year, that's all. Oh. Well, okay. Well, I gotta go. See you later, Miss Clary, and thanks again! Sure. See you. Are you sure you'll be all right? I'll be fine. Uh, okay. Ready, princess? Oh no! You chickening out? That'd be too predictable. Even for you. No, LaRue, I'm just concerned. I'm a Clary. I could start a fire in this festival right now and I'd still be able to graduate from Le Fay. You, on the other hand, where would the less likable LaRue go?
Hey, are those kids about to duel? Someone stop them! Not me! I I'm not messing with mages! Really, princess? You think I can't see right through your illusions? Oh, I don't expect you to struggle with that. I just expect you to get distracted long enough for this. A blinding spell, huh? Touché. Ugh, whatever. I'll take my chances. What do you expect to accomplish with this, LaRue? Why challenge Irene to a duel? I'm standing up for myself, the people I love, and what I believe in, Princess! Try it sometime! By beating someone in a duel? You really don't get it, do you? I am so sick of all these illusions! How many freaking versions of you do I have to keep seeing? And what about you? Are you just going to keep flinging fireballs at me hoping one will hit? Give it up, LaRue! Just let it go. Let it go, huh? <laughs> Unlike some people I know, I don't give up. I don't just walk away from situations I know I can win. I will shake this earth to its core if it means choosing the better, happier life for myself. You could have been happy too! We could have... You could have... You could have... You could have at least told me why I wasn't good enough. Don't just sit there! Don't you dare! Don't you dare give up! Uh, uh, Miss LaRue! Fight me! Just... fight! All you do is give up. All you do is run and hide. Show me you can fight for something! LaRue... I surrender. No! Audrey! <gasps> Audrey, I'm... I'm sorry. Audrey! Are you okay? We should get you to Nurse Cheryl. <laughs> I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Audrey... <laughs> I'm... Audrey, did I do the thing with the wrong choice of words again? I'm sorry, Irene. I'm going after Marion, and we need to talk. Okay, I'll just be here. Oh, and Audrey? Yes? Can you please tell her... I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to insult her. Uh, okay.
Marion. Oh, uh, Audrey, uh, how did you? I. Uh, I didn't mean to. I know. Uh, how's your shoulder? I'll be all right. Uh, how's your ankle? It hurts a little, but I'll be all right. Okay. Audrey. Why didn't you... Why didn't you show up last year? What was the real reason? I... Was I... Was I not good enough? Did you wake up the next day regretting... That kiss? Was it... Embarrassment at the thought of showing up with me as your date? Please. Just tell me. I was scared, Marion. You kissing me... It was the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. You made me want a life I couldn't have. That... That desire is dangerous for me, Marion. So your solution was to ignore me until I got tired of getting no answers from you? Marion, I... I've never learned how to say goodbye. Last festival. The night before, I I made something for you. <laughs> I even dreamt about how you'd react to it. And the next day, I waited for you. You said you'd meet me in the garden, and I waited. I thought it would have been my first Sunflower Festival. And all this time, I've wondered... Was there anything I could have done so that we could have at least had that one day? I tried to tell you. And when was that? When we were on that school trip and you bossed around Zara Prescott so that you could talk to me alone? I... Yes. I wanted your attention. Did you seriously think you deserved it after pushing me out of your life? With no explanation to boot! I... I know that now. I'm sorry. One last thing. What we had, whatever it was, did it mean anything to you at all? That's... that's the alarm! Marion, we have to go back! We? I'm not done looking for my sister, Princess, but feel free to go. You've given me your answer. Thank you for bringing me to the Fest of Uluru. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, Princess? Yes? Have a good life. I'll try.
Hey there, miss. Would you like to buy a bracelet? Our goods are handcrafted. Oh. Uh, no, thank you. Happy Sunflower Festival. Mary? Sim? Mary, darling, is that really you? I... Oh, darling, I've missed you so much. I'm so glad to run into you here. Come, check out these stalls with me. We have so much to catch up on. Oh, okay. What's... With the wine bottle. Oh, this. Can't a lady carry her creation around for advertising purposes? Oh, look at you, Mary. You are so grown up now. I love this new look you got going. Very punk rock. <laughs> I'm sure your classmates wish they had your style. Uh, thanks. You're... you look great, too. <laughs> I feel a little underdressed, actually. Oh, darling, please don't feel that way. And please don't disrespect LaFay's uniform like that. You should wear it with pride. <laughs> Looking at you dressed in that uniform is getting me a... Bit nostalgic, I must say. You must be having the time of your life in LaFay. So, tell me, how are you enjoying your studies so far? Well, th they're really fun. And, uh, I'm still the top elemental mage in school. I am so glad to hear that. I have no doubt you'll be able to keep it up. I do hear about your achievements, you know. Y you do? Of course. How, how exactly did you hear about them? I have my connections, darling. Ooh, a book stall. How lovely. Did you like the books I sent you, by the way? Oh, yes, of course. They've really helped me a lot. You can even ask my classmates. The pleasure is mine, dear. Do you want anything from the stall? No, I'm good. Suit yourself. Oh, let's check out that craft stall! Sure. Sim, how's the wine bar going? Oh, it's going great. We have new business partners in Elkos. We'll be having a lovely wine tasting event later this evening. It's too bad I can't invite you just yet. I must take care of my little sister's reputation, after all. But I do look forward to the day I can invite you. Looking forward to that, too. So, have you found your strongest element? Uh, 
I'm not sure yet, to be honest. I see. Why is that so? You're supposed to know your strongest element by now. Well, I have my suspicions. Would you take a look at this candle? Okay, I'm looking. Do you think you can make the fire a bit warmer? Sure. Oh, Mary, you don't have to make that face. I know this is child's play for you. Fire is your strongest element, isn't it? Come on, you don't have to be shy about it. I I'm not shy about it. I'm just... Not very proud of what I do with it. Not very proud? What do you mean by that? Well, uh... I just kind of used it to burn my potion partner's book, and, uh... You... What? <laughs> Mary, you haven't changed one bit. No wonder Margot sounds so exasperated whenever they talk about you. They respect and tolerate zeal in their class, but burning your partner's book... A bit much, darling. Hey, my partner was being really annoying, okay? Is that so, my dear? Yeah. Well, she never listens to me. Probably thinks I don't know as much as she does because she's an alchemist. Oh, Mary. This isn't like you. Is there anything I should know about? Is anyone bullying you? As if you actually care about that. You can't just... You can't just waltz back into my life and pretend everything's all right, Simone. I didn't even know about your engagement getting called off. I learned about your travels from a freaking magazine. And now you're gonna tell me this isn't like me? When you stopped writing just like that, I felt like you hated me, Sim. I kept thinking, did I do something wrong? Mary? Every time you visited home, you wouldn't stop talking about how much I love it here, and that you couldn't wait for me to move. You promised me you'd show me around this city said you'd take me to all the festivals and museums. Then you left me to deal with... with all this alone. It's hard enough being an outsider in Le Fay, but when I lost a friend, you weren't there. Is it... Is it because you're ashamed of me? Because I can't ever be as sophisticated and glamorous as you no matter what I do? I'll just never be good enough, huh? No, Mary. I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough. After the engagement got called off, I was in pain. So much pain. I just couldn't find pleasure in anything after that. I kept thinking. What could I have done to make it work? Was I not worth fighting for at all? Mary, I couldn't let you see me like that. I was a mess. And I'm still struggling to move on. A mess? How can you be a mess? I couldn't stand staying up all night, thinking about her. I had... I had to make... All those thoughts go away. Sim. I'm so sorry. 
I should have realized you were going through something. All this time, I, I kept thinking you were so perfect, so unbreakable. No one is unbreakable, my dear. We can only try our best in our own flawed little ways. Sim, give me the bottle. I won't drink it. I just want you to know that I got your back. I'm here to help. I really appreciate the offer, but... People might get the wrong idea, my dear. Please don't worry. I'm not pushing you away this time. I just don't want to fail you as a sister anymore. You're not a failure, Sim. You've never been. It'll be all right. Hey, let's walk around. You still want to hang out with me? Of course. I'm here for you, okay? Besides, we gotta get more sun cakes before they run out. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. All right, let's get those sun cakes. Good afternoon, Miss Clary. <laughs> uh, Professor Buffon, I'm... This is quite a surprise. I didn't expect to find you here. Under normal circumstances, I would prefer not to step foot into any of these ridiculous festivals. However, truant as you may be, I understand that you have the need to experience and celebrate your youth. That said, will you guide me around the festival? Uh, y yes, Professor. Thank you, Miss Clary. Do lead the way. Professor Before, I deeply apologize. I apologize for what happened in potions class and, and for escaping detention. Apology accepted. <gasps> Do try not to look so shocked, Miss Clary. I'm not here to make the festival a torturous experience for you. Have you eaten anything today? Uh, y yes, but... Oh, that's good. I'm glad you have not neglected your meals, at least. Where is Miss LaRue? The spell work on those illusions had me thinking you two would be together. She and I, we... we had a fight. Sh 
She decided to go back to Lafayette, actually. Hmm, I see. And what about you? Where were you going? I... I was going back to Lafay too. Oh, were you? Ah, finally, a cafe. Let's have a cup of tea. Uh, all right, Professor. Here's your order. Happy Sunflower Festival. Thank you. The one with milk is yours, of course. Thank you, Professor. Hmm. Not bad. Professor? P Professor? Yes, Miss Clary? Why did you bring me here? Why shouldn't I? There's no point in bringing you back to detention, is there? Escaping together did not seem to have resolved the conflict between you and Miss LaRue. I yes, but uh, we disobeyed you, Professor. Miss Clary, do you study alchemy to learn obedience? Well, n no. We study it to formulate better theories regarding the state of perfection. And what do you do to test those theories? We experiment, Professor. If your academic life simply consisted of following instructions, do you think you'd be as knowledgeable as you are now? No, Professor. Then there's your answer. Professor, I still failed you. I couldn't fix it with Ma Miss LaRue. I apologize. I understand that this is a lot of trouble for you. Child, you are too harsh on yourself. First of all, you didn't fail me. And let it be known that you did not fail yourself or Miss LaRue either. Just because something didn't go as planned doesn't mean it's a failure, Miss Clary. It just means that you must take a step back and figure out what you need to start over again. When you do, it is important that you do it in the best way you can. And I believe you have done your best, Miss Clary. I... Thank you, Professor. What's wrong, dear child? <laughs> it, it's just... I, I'm sorry, Professor. I did not wish for you to see me like this. Dear child, crying is a perfectly normal human reaction. Come, tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Professor, I... I don't want to be an alchemist. Studying 
healing alchemy just doesn't give me as much joy as healing magic does. I don't, I don't want to spend the rest of my life looking for new things to turn into gold. I want to heal people. I want to help people live their best lives. To ease their pain in all the ways I can. I, I know I can't live that life, but... <laughs> Dear child, I'm sorry. You deserve to live your best life, too. <laughs> it's impossible, Professor. Is it really? I was nine years old when I decided to become an alchemist. That same year, I had an accident. It was an experiment that had gone wrong. No one believed I could make it except for my healer. Healers do great things too, my child. <laughs> but, Professor, I have responsibilities to my family. That may be true. But you also have a responsibility to yourself. Will you live your life creating a sense of self out of other people's expectations? Or will you allow yourself to grow and transform into your own magnificent creation? You must choose wisely, my child. So, Mary, would you like to tell me more about this potions partner of yours? I don't know, Sim. There's not much to say about her, really. Okay, then. But can I make a guess as to who it is? Go ahead. Hmm. Is it Audrey Clary? It's that obvious, huh? Yep. It was the book burning that gave it away. W really How so? Well, let's see. I know you have a temper, but you have good control of it. You wouldn't burn just anyone's book for no reason. Is that... Really how you see me? Of course! Mary, I've known about your affinity towards fire since you first started learning magic. It breaks my heart to see you so ashamed of it now, when it's something that makes you so special. Sim, I didn't just burn Audrey's book. We had a duel today. I just wanted to shock her into standing up for herself but i i ended up hurting her how can fire magic be what makes me special when i've used it to hurt people i've messed up so much sim fire is just way too destructive oh mary Fire isn't just about destruction. Fire cleanses. Fire gives us warmth. It's what helps us create a place to come home to. Fire is in the stars we look up to at night, giving us hope, guiding our way. Without fire, where do you think humanity would be?
let's sit for a moment. I'd like to show you something. You sent me this more than a year ago. Y yeah I remember that day. Have you ever seen Audrey this happy anywhere else? N no, I don't think so. I figured as much. I've seen other photos of her, and I don't think I've ever seen her smile as widely as she did for this photo. W what are you trying to say? You need to give yourself a bit more credit, Mary. Perhaps you think all you do is hurt people. But, considering Audrey's smile in this photo, I don't think that's how she views you at all. Sim, I don't understand. Why are you telling me this? These alchemists, the way they think. You've been hurt too, right? Besides, she already made a choice. I asked her if I ever meant anything to her, and she... She went back to Le Fay. Uh, you know what, Sim? We're wasting the day. <clears throat> Want to check out that jewelry stall? All right, Mary. Hmm. Didn't think you'd be into that one in particular. I I'm not! I, I mean, it's cute, that's all. H hi can I get this one, please? Sure. That'd be five gold. Here you go. Happy Sunflower Festival. Happy Sunflower Festival to you, too. Hmm. So you did end up buying one after all. Y yeah. It's for Audrey. Do you think... It'll be okay to give her this. I'm sure she'll love it. Uh oh, isn't that Audrey? Huh? Where? Yeah. That's her. Hey, Sim, I'll catch you later, okay? There's just something I need to do. Of course. Good luck, dear. Thank you. Would you like some more tea, Miss Clary? No, thank you, Professor. Very well. Let's take a walk around. Y yes Professor. Professor. Yes, Miss Clary? I would like to ask you something. I will be glad to provide answers if I can. Thank you. How did you know you wanted to become an alchemist? I just couldn't see myself doing anything else, I suppose. It didn't matter to me if it felt impossible at the time. Le Fay didn't have scholarships back in my day, 
So I contacted people who were willing to sponsor my studies. Was it difficult, Professor? Very much so. Most strangers aren't willing to gamble their money on an overly ambitious child. I see. And how about you, Miss Clary? When did you realize you wanted to become a healer? I... There was a cat in the garden. He... he was cold, shivering. I couldn't stand seeing him in pain. I see. Caring for the living. Hmm. It's a good initiative for the profession. I suppose so. Ah, an art stall. How interesting. Shall we check it out? Yes, Professor. Perhaps some areas of Le Fay could use some redecoration. What do you think, Miss Clary? Miss Clary? Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. What was the question again? Is everything all right, Miss Clary? I'm... I'm all right. <laughs> I understand that you do not want me to worry, Miss Clary, but I can tell something is on your mind. Dear child, it's all right to admit when something's wrong, and when you don't know what to do, it's all right to ask for help. It's... Marion. I keep letting her down, again and again. I... abandoned her. I was... So afraid of letting everyone around me down, that I ended up hurting her because of it. And today, I left her again, when I shouldn't have. The day isn't over yet, child. Perhaps it's not too late to do something about it. I'm so sorry, Professor, but I have to go. Very well. I have faith in your ability to heal old wounds, dear child. And do try to enjoy the rest of the day once you've talked to Miss LaRue. You may both come see me on Monday. Don't worry. Neither of you are in danger of expulsion. But word will get out about your truancy. So there must be consequences for your actions. I understand, Professor. Be safe and well, dear child. Th thank you so much, Professor. Hey, isn't that Simone LaRue? Whoa, she's here? Oh, she's even more gorgeous in person.
Marion, I'm... Marion, I'm so sorry. You... You came back! I... I... I shouldn't have left. D... Forgive me. Of course I forgive you, Audrey. I'm just... Glad you're here now. I'm... I'm sorry, too. What a day, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> it hasn't been all bad for me. <laughs> <sighs> me too. Uh, S Sim, this is my, uh, friend, Audrey, and Audrey, this is Simone. It's nice to finally meet you, Audrey. I've heard so much about you. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry if I interrupted something. No, don't worry about it. Oh, will you look at the time? I have a poetry reading to catch, so I must leave you two for now. Catch you later, darling. And I look forward to seeing you again, Audrey. I assumed she would be more subtle than that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Me too. <sighs> Guess I've been learning a lot today. Yes. Same here. Marion? Hmm? Will you come with me to the Astaway Bridge? Uh, of course. Is the view to your liking? <laughs> it sure is. I'm really glad you found Simone. I'm glad I did too. I figured out a lot of stuff after talking to her. Audrey. Hmm? I... Audrey, I still... like you. Like... a lot. But I understand it all better now. You have your path, and I have mine. And I... I don't want to be a distraction to you. I just... want to be friends again. I've missed you. I've missed hearing about all your pets. I've missed the way you laugh every time we'd sneak you out of those boring alchemist meetings. <laughs> I just miss... so many things. About you... About us? I... I ruined it by kissing you. I didn't want you to have to choose between me and your responsibilities, but that's what happened anyway. I understand if this makes things awkward and you don't want to be friends again because of this, but I just... wanted you to know how I really feel. Earlier today, you asked me if what we had meant something. I... I didn't know how to answer.
All my life, I've done things just because I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be the top alchemist in school. I'm supposed to be competent in everything I do, from socialising to transmutation. Though, I never really questioned why. Then you came along. And for once, I found myself doing things not because I had to, but because I wanted to. I've been given everything in life, and in turn, it just seemed like a betrayal to want something else. But Marion, I don't want to be friends. I want you. I want more sunflower festivals with you, and all the other holidays we can celebrate together. You didn't ruin what we had by kissing me, because that kiss was everything to me. Wanting something that much, it was scary. So please, if, if you'll have me again, I want to stay in your life. If I'll have you again? Here, give me your hand. W what's this? I was supposed to give you a bracelet last year. It's not the same bracelet, though. I got this one earlier today. So, uh, here you go. As thanks. For the friendship and all that. <laughs> Thank you, Marion. It's beautiful. Just like you. It, yeah, well, you're not so bad yourself, too, and it's not like... Marion. Yes? You're adorable. Uh, you're enjoying this way too much. <laughs> of course I am. Hey, Audrey. Thanks for suggesting this place. Really, it's been so long since I've watched the sunset from here. From now on, let's watch more sunsets together. What do you say? That's not such a bad idea. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong? I think we should head back soon. Do we really have to? You're... Asking me that? Come on. I just want a bit more time with you here. You sure? Positive. Okay. It'll be my pleasure, princess. You sure she'll be here? Well, no, but it won't hurt to check anyway. Oh, there she is! Oh, hey guys! Oh, wait a minute! You guys aren't fighting anymore? Nope! And I, uh... I want to apologize to you for what happened. I shouldn't have challenged you to a duel and all that. Oh! No, no, no. I should be the one saying sorry. I've been thinking about the stuff I said. You probably think I look down on you and Simone. But I really don't. I swear. I guess I've still got a lot to learn. I also really should be more mindful of how I talk sometimes. Apology accepted. And hey, that's something we kind of have in common. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> But that 
that's actually something I appreciate about both of you. <laughs> On the subject of honesty, Irene, I haven't been entirely honest with you. <sighs> the truth is that I don't want to be an alchemist. Starting today, I will be taking steps towards becoming a healer. But you're an alchemy student, and uh, what about your family? I'll talk to them uh, about it when I'm ready. But I wanted to let you know before I tell them, because I trust you. Thank you, Audrey. I think you'll make a great healer. Thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> well, would you mind if Marion and I join you for tonight? Oh, not at all. Will Simone be joining us too? She was here earlier, but I'm not sure where she is now. Well, she's probably at that wine tasting event, but that's all right. She's free to join us when she wants to. For now, we celebrate! Yeah! Good morning, Miss Clary. Miss LaRue? Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Professor. Miss LaRue. I believe Miss Clary has already explained the situation? Y yes Professor. We won't be expelled, but- But you will be given additional punishments for your actions. I hope you understand. We can't have the two of you starting a trend in Le Fay. After all, you both are greatly admired by your peers. Now for your punishments. Miss LaRue, you will be tutoring some of your underclassmen on fire magic. Professor Crawford will be your supervisor. Understood, Professor. Miss Clary, as for you, you will be assisting Nurse Cheryl with the annual checkup at the infirmary. Yes, Professor. These will be your tasks for the next four Saturdays. I want detailed reports every Monday morning. Are there any other questions? No, Professor. Nope. Very well. Be sure to speak with your respective supervisors before this Saturday. It pays to be prepared. Have a good day. Thank you, Professor. Bye, Professor. Why so sad? Well... I was hoping to ask you out on a date next Saturday. Oh! Well, <laughs> why didn't you just say so? I, uh, might be free after the tutoring sessions. Let me just check my schedule. Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, definitely free. Good. I look forward to it then. Bet you do, lover girl. You know, I, I think I liked Princess a, a lot better. You can't always have what you want, Princess. Oh, really? Well, I beg to differ.
Yes? It's me. H hey, princess. You done for the day, too? Yes, I am. I, uh, I got you flowers. Thanks. D do you like them? Y yes, of course. They're beautiful. You're beautiful. But I didn't even dress up today. Do you think I care about that? Nope. I don't think so. Y you're beautiful, too. Thank you, sunshine. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Oh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so, shall we? Y yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, how was your day? Not bad at all, actually. It was nice to learn from Nurse Cheryl. Some of the kids were really anxious about the checkup, but she managed to calm them down. It's amazing. She even got some of them to laugh. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, and, and check this out. I've got a healer's kit. Well, hello, healer Audrey. I, I, I'm not a certified healer. Not yet, but you're getting there. <laughs> I suppose so. It will take a while, but at least I'm learning new things. Yep, that's what's important. That's true. Ah, oh, there's the cafe. Audrey? Marion? Hello, Irene. Hey, Irene. What you up to today? Nothing much. Just grabbing some coffee before this lecture I'm attending. How about you guys? Well, we're... Uh... We're on a date right now. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, I won't bother you guys then. Have fun! Audrey? Hmm? What's up? What about, you know, your alchemist friends? Won't they talk? Of course they will. I've got no control over that. If they spend their free time talking about my life, then that says a lot more about them, doesn't it? Yeah. You're right. I... Hmm? I'm really proud of you, princess. <laughs> Thank you, sunshine. So, how did the tutoring session go? Oh, right! It was surprisingly fun! I think we'll be able to make fireworks by the third session. Oh, you're making fireworks? Yeah! <laughs> Let me know when you do. I'd really love to see it. Really? I, I mean, yeah, sure.
Why do you sound surprised? Well, I'm not. I I'm just uh, really happy to know that you want to be there. Actually, I've been thinking of joining the competition for the fireworks festival next month. Wow. You really should. I think you'll do great. <laughs> Thanks, princess. I'll make them especially pretty for you. Whatever you make will always be especially pretty, Sunshine. Okay, Princess. Hey, want to come to the market with me? We have time before sunset. We could go check out the bookstall again. I could probably get a magazine for inspiration. Sure, I'd love that. Hmm. No new arrivals today. Well, perhaps they're over. Hey, what you got there? Can I... Oh! Simone's on the cover again! Of course I am. Sim! Hello, Mary. Hello, Audrey. It's good to see you two again. Hi, Simone. It's good to see you too. This cover is gorgeous, by the way. Why, thank you so much. What you up to, Sim? Oh, just doing a bit of shopping. If you two aren't busy, would you like to come with me? I'd really like to go with you, but we're on a date right now. Maybe some other time? A date? Oh, how lovely. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Have fun, Sim. I will. And you two have fun on your date. I wouldn't have minded if we'd gone with Simone. Oh, it's fine. We can go shopping with her another time. I'm my own person. Can't just keep chasing after her. Besides, you told Irene we're on a date. It wouldn't be fair if I just leave. You... You want some alone time today, right? Yes, that's right. Awesome. I want alone time with you too. Sunshine, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Shall we head to the bridge soon? It's almost sunset. Oh yeah, let's go! I don't think I'll ever get tired of this view. Uh, you're literally staring at me. I know. <sighs> We've come a long way, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Hey, Princess? Have you decided on your favorite place in Castle Coast yet? Aside from La Fay, I mean. Besides this bridge? Nope, not yet. <laughs> you gotta explore your options a bit more. Not saying you can't have it as your favorite place. It's just that you gotta maximize, you know? Of course. But so far, this bridge holds the best memories for me. Even though we fought here? Yes. You absolute sap. Well... Next Saturday, I could show you around more places.
You asking me out on a second date, Sunshine? Yeah. Why not? Well, that's perfect because I really would like you to be my girlfriend. And I think that constitutes more dates with me. I... I want to be your girlfriend, too. I, uh, also really want us to see more of Castle Coast together. Hanging out at the library, finding new cafes, maybe even checking out the artist's market. Actually, um, I want to have a portrait painted with you again. Hmm? What happened to our portrait? It, uh, kind of got crumpled. Did it? That's a shame. You looked really adorable in that portrait. Well, I suppose we'll just have to look for the artist next Saturday. Wouldn't mind a portrait of us with you kissing me on the cheek. Wow! <laughs> you wish. I wish. Aw, that's cute. I don't remember you acting that way when you kissed me last year. Oh, really? How did I act? Let's say I forgot. Well, I could describe it to you, or I could just show you. I think I like that second option better. Oh, do you? May I? Yes, Princess. So, <laughs> do you remember now? Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I'll remember if you kiss me again. It'll be my pleasure, sunshine.